New York Giants safety and University of Alabama alum Landon Collins, along with other university-affiliated athletes, took to Twitter in response to racist remarks made by Harley Barber, a member of the Alpha Phi sorority and also a student at the University of Alabama. Harley Barber made racist videos and released them on social media during Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Uh, Collins says, in part, quote, Alpha Phi, be wary of the company you keep, for they are a reflection of who you are or who you want to be. Harley Barber didn't wake up this morning and decide to spew racist rhetoric for the first time in her life. Therefore, I believe I speak on behalf of my brothers and myself when I say the Bama football team does not need the support, cheers, or high fives of anyone who condones this type of intolerant, hateful behavior. Hashtag built by Bama, end quote. Both the university and the sorority expelled Barber, and she has returned to New Jersey, and she recently told the New York Post, quote, I did something really, really bad. I don't know what to do, and I feel horrible. I'm wrong, and there's just no excuse for what I did, end quote. Landon Collins said that he'd be willing to speak with Barber. And so, Mike, I just wanted to know, do you think that Collins should reach out to her? Does he need to do this? Or the punishment that... Barbara received, is that enough for her to really realize the error of her ways? As far as Landon Collins, I think, he doesn't necessarily have to or should meet with this young girl, um, but I commend him for taking action here and going out and speaking his mind. Look, you, in a situation like this, do you want to antagonize the people that are spewing out this hatred? Or do you really want to become part of the solution? And and so, you know, and I think that Collins here, I commend him. I think that, he, you know, by going out and saying this and taking a stand, I, I, I really got to give the guy a lot of respect for that. As far as this young lady is concerned, to me, one of the big surprises that I took from this story was uh, not necessarily this is some girl from Huntsville or Mobile, Alabama. She's from New Jersey. And I thought to me, now that just shows you that this growing level of hatred that's festering throughout this country, it's everywhere. It's permeated everywhere. This young lady has absolutely, you could just tell, I'm not even going to say what her Instagram name was or whatever it was, Snapchat name. Um, but it, it just shows that this is a young lady that has absolutely no respect for herself. She has no respect for the black community. She has no respect for her sorority sisters or the college that she went to, Alabama. Uh, and the last thing that I'll say is, for me, I did watch the video. It's thing, when things like this happen, it's very uncomfortable for me to watch. But just preparing for the show, I figured I would watch the two separate videos that this girl had bombed up posting. And they were really, really sickening and disturbing. And the sad part is, I bet you that some of these sorority, and I don't want to call out the sorority itself, I bet you that some of her friends, while this was all happening, were probably laughing. I think that's a sad part out of all of this. Like you, Mike, I command Landon Collins for wanting to speak to her because at, at this point, I'm just so ready to toss people like Barber, Barber and people of her ilk to the side and cast them off from society. Um, but So it it's shows what kind of character he has to be willing to uh, sit down with her because, you know, maybe he can have a conversation that will spark a change in her and then she can become an ally in the fight against racism, but I just don't know what it takes to, to change what someone's heart dictates. So, um, you know, if, if he can do it and, and make a difference, more, you know, more power to him. You know, I'm just embarrassed that this girl is from my home state of New Jersey. Like, that, the fact that she's connected to New Jersey is terrible, and she's going to pay the price because a quick Google search of her name by any potential universities or employers will let them know what kind of person she really is.